back to sound that way all the time. You know, when I first met him, I thought that was just his TV voice, and you know, he put on a show, but that was HK, the man you heard on the screen, the man you seen throwing out peanuts during the seventh inning stretch, the same guy you seen down in the clubhouse in plain clothes. Well, ain't that the truth? As we take a look at a wide shot here at National Park, you know, <coughs> What's up, sports fans? Ripper coming back at you, and uh, it's a very sad, sad day. At about uh, 1 o'clock, uh, Harry Callis passed away in uh, Washington. And uh, I'm at a loss for words. If you've ever uh, lived in Philadelphia, around Philadelphia, spent any time in Philadelphia, then you know the importance of uh, Harry Callis to Philadelphia baseball. He uh, started in 1971. I happen to be born in 73, which means for me, I've never had a Philly season without Harry Callis. You know, I've heard it said before, and, and it's true. Um, baseball, more than any other game or any other thing, can can make you feel like a kid again because it it really doesn't change. It's, it's always the same. And uh, like I said, my whole life, Harry Callis has been part of baseball. So up till now, I've been able to close my eyes at any given time and think back and listen to Harry Callis on the radio. And I may have to suffer through Chris Wheeler. But, um, you know, you could it could almost be 1985 again. But... Uh, that's gone now, and gone forever. And uh, yeah, that's a that's a really, it's a really sad day. I remember uh, growing up being able to hear Whitey and uh, Harry call games, <laughs> and um, they used to get uh, pizza delivered to them at the booth from a local pizza shop at the Veterans Stadium around Veterans Stadium in South Philadelphia. And uh, every time they did it, they would say the name of the place on, on air, and, and they were told they couldn't really do that because people were paying for advertising, and et cetera, et cetera. So um, what they started to do between the two of them is um, the name, I can't remember the name of the place, but say the name of the place was Willie's Pizza. And they would say, we would like to wish a very special happy birthday to Mr. Willie Pizza. <laughs> and... And also, a very special happy birthday to Mr. Large Pepperoni. <laughs> and they would send up a large pepperoni to the booth for him. <laughs> for, uh, for dinner that night. So, um, that's just one of the stories off the top of my head that I could uh, can think of. Um, it's just a sad, sad day. I'm just really happy that uh, Harry got to call a World Series winner for the team and um, he went out with them as champions which uh, I hope all us Phillies fans can see the bleachers because of the rains the field was covered there was no batting practice so the players really didn't have anything to do and Mickey Vernon popped his head out of the dugout saw this kid a wide eyed kid me <laughs> picked me up took me in the dugout, gave me a baseball, introduced me to his teammates, and thus began my love of baseball. Welcome to New Veterans Stadium and opening day. On behalf of the Philadelphia Phillies, we thank you very much. Boy, you're going to drive right center field. Maddox is there! <laughs> he literally win his own ball game here. Swing and a big hit to left center field! Whiteness, I know, uh, he'll be with me. He'll be with me when I'm making my speech. We feel your passion through and through. Philadelphia fans, I love you. <laughs>
Phillies are 2008 World Champions of Baseball. Hall of Fame announcer, Harry Callis. I love you. I will never forget this day. Thank you and God bless all of you.